Here are 9 looting spots you probably don't know about. Presented by Fortnite Master. For this video, we're going to show you some secret loot spots that not a lot of players know about. Almost any player could tell you about the hidden basements in Pleasant Park or the chests inside the Fatal Field silos. The 9 loot spots we'll show you in this video are not quite as well known. These locations aren't particularly rich with loot, but they are well hidden. This means that if items do spawn in the places we show you today, you'll almost always be the first to find them. So if your loadout could use an extra item or two, or you simply want a competitive edge on the other players, this guide might just save your life. The first loot spot we're going to cover can be found in Sunny Steps, a POI full of hidden rooms and maze-like buildings. When you arrive, the first thing to grab your eyes will most likely be the giant six-story temple at the front of Sunny. Unknown to some players, there is a hidden floor with eight possible loot spawns. Enter through the top of the temple and head to the center, drop down a level, and break the gray stone walls in the ceiling above the interior fountain. You'll find a few short tunnels filled with loot. The next loot spawn also happens to be in Sunny Steps. This hidden loot spot is only a single floor spawn, but could still save your life in the right situation. If you travel to the northeast corner of Sunny, there is an L-shaped building with a one tile wide pillar holding it up at the back corner. Breaking one of the walls of this pillar will reveal a floor loot spawn hiding inside. Although it's only one loot spawn, it can still come in clutch in some tight situations. Imagine you mess up your drop and land late while everybody is already looting up. You could probably sneak around the back of the pillar and potentially find a gun without anybody noticing. The next loot spawn can be found in the junkyard next to Paradise Palms. If you loot the main building, you'll probably hear a chest somewhere around the middle. Though it might sound like it, the chest isn't hidden on the roof or behind a wall. It's actually underneath in a secret compartment. Breaking either of these floor tiles will reveal a chest and a floor loot spawn hidden in a dilapidated basement. I wonder how that got there. This big gray house, which you can find in both Pleasant Park and Retail Row, is a popular landing spot for both locations. It's become so popular, in fact, that it's gained its own name, Doghouse. Named after the small doghouse that can be found in its backyard, this house has become popular because of the sheer amount of loot it holds, including the slightly hidden floor spawn we're about to show you. Anybody who's landed at the doghouse before knows that there's a chest in the house's side roof. What only experienced doghouse veterans know, however, is that a floor loot spawn can be found quietly hiding in the opposite side roof, above the garage. It may not be much, but it's one extra chance at finding whatever item your loadout is missing. The next loot spawn can be found in Lucky Landing, a drop spot that's perfect for players who want to avoid fighting off spawn but still want decent loot. Something shiny's hiding in the center gazebo, and it's not Booga's World Cup trophy. If you drop Lucky Landing often, you might already know where this one's going. Break the giant pink cherry blossom tree to reveal a chest hidden inside of the trunk. We're not sure how this chest fits in the tree logically, but hey, it's free loot. The next loot spawn can also be found in Lucky Landing. This building is in the southwest corner of Lucky Landing and has a fair amount of loot, but there's also some hidden items that a lot of players probably never see. Break into the side roof and you'll find up to two floor loot spawns. I'm starting to think Epic Games has an unhealthy obsession with hiding items in random side roofs. Don't leave Lucky Landing just yet, because we have one more hidden loot spawn to show you. The giant temple on the outskirts of Lucky Landing is huge and has plenty of loot. When looting this temple, you probably wouldn't think to look in the walls for items, but you'd be missing out on two secret compartments with potential loot. One of these loot spawns can be found by going to the northwest corner of the temple and breaking one of the bottom floor's walls. The other spot is just a few steps away at the northeast corner. Break a wall and you'll find another hidden loot spawn. The next loot spot can be found in the remains of Tomato Temple, just west of the pressure plant. What's left in Tomato Temple is only a fraction of its former glory. But one of the few structures that still stands in Season X is the main temple building itself. Believe it or not, a secret loot spot has survived five seasons along with the main temple. Travel along the east side near the bottom of the temple until you see a green RV. Right next to the RV, you'll find a hole in the wall. Break the wall or jump through and you'll find a chest with a few floor loot spawns. The next loot spot isn't too far from Tomato Temple. 
Just travel 100 meters to the southeast and you'll arrive at the pirate fort on the edge of pressure plant. This pirate fort has plenty of loot out in the open, but it wouldn't be a pirate fort without some hidden treasure. Breaking one of the second story walls will reveal four floor loot spawns, all of the booty you'll ever need. Thank you guys for watching this video. For those who are new to the channel, if you've enjoyed this video, check out some of the others on the right side of the screen. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications for whenever a new guide shows up. You guys are great and we hope to keep making videos that you all like. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One and we're out. Peace.